happy Sunday. Sunday, April 14th. I'm in our sunroom. The windows are open. You can tell behind me. It's a nice sunny day. It is in the 70s. It's just simply gorgeous. You hear Mr. Jerry's clocks. Hopefully you can hear the, the birds. Those are grackles. Those are the ones that are the brown body with the shiny blue head. So, it's just been a, a laid back day. And that's just how Sundays should be if you can do it. Mr. Jerry this morning went out and um, worked in the flower beds and um, all along out here he put some um, our um, on our deck outside the sunroom he put the rug out and then he has done all along the side of the house here the flower beds um, of course I usually go out and say okay you can trim this but don't trim this or this or this, you know. Um, but seeing all that newness coming out, you know. Our sedums are coming up. Our, um, you know, all of our perennials out there are starting to come up. My butterfly bush has got buds on it. The trees at the camp next to us, all the trees, you can start seeing the buds and everything. <clears throat> and you know, it just sitting here with the windows open, the hearing the birds, the breeze coming in. I'll probably pay for it tomorrow because tree piling is really high right now. So, um, but other than that, you know, it. it it just makes me think sometimes and I don't know I tell Mr. Jerry I, I said this is I can sit out here with the TV's not on and I am knitting and that's a good time that, that the good Lord kind of talks to me I don't whether you believe that or not but that's how I believe it it's my time to sit there in the quiet and then things come to me like, you know, all the beauty that's out there right now, the sun shining down and the newness coming out and how exciting it makes you feel and how it makes you feel so good inside. I don't know about you, but it makes my soul just so happy when the sun is shining and it's warm and a nice breeze comes in. And I can go stand out barefooted on my deck or in the grass, you know, just to ground myself again. And then I start to also then thinking, you know, winter is, is shutting, you know, all of the dreariness, the ugliness, the, you know, the, the blindness. And now spring is coming in and um, all the beauty is starting to come out. And that gets me thinking about myself and how I can do the same thing. I can go out there and, and I can work in the flower beds and I can prune things, but I can prune things in myself too. I can prune my negativity. I can prune my belief in myself. You know, I can start to feel good about things right now because everything is looking beautiful again. And so it helps me realize that, you know, I still can be in control of my food. I still, I still have time. I still have time to, to do what I need to do to get me even healthier than I have been. And to say, you've come a long way, kid. Or you've come a long way, baby. Um, I have a long ways to go. 
I'm not going to kid you, you know, I have, you know, 70 pounds more to go, but I'm still going. So, as I set out in my sunroom, today is a good day. I feel good. I just love setting in the quiet. I love hearing the sounds of nature. Oh, just just makes my my soul feel good. So um, makes me stop and think about different things too, like canning seasons coming up, growing seasons coming up. Um, all that type of stuff and um, it makes me want to try harder on my journey because if I can continue if I can continue just to do I'll get there might not be on my timeline but I'll get there you know um, every little change that I'm doing is getting myself healthier from the inside out and once I start feeling good again about myself then I can get in control and then I can control the food instead of the food controlling me so um, and if you're new to me my name's Terry um, this is my journey to lose weight while also being able to share my crafts, the different things I love to do, our retirement life. We are not travelers like a lot of people. We just like the simple stuff. And we are trying to enjoy life the best we can. So, but um, I have 30 pounds off of that 70. And, um, I'm going to get the rest of it back off. I have no doubt in my mind. So, I wanted to let you know that last night I um, was able to tink back all of the eight rows of that ribbing on my sweater. And then this morning, um, while I was listening to devotions and everything and setting out here, enjoying my coffee and my breakfast, my smoothie, I was able to knit all that yarn back in. And so my plan is on that. I have so much yarn left in that ball and I'm thinking for me to be happy where I like the length, I'm going to have to do a good four inches and then I will I'll not be lazy and I will put it on those um, cords that I have and then um, I will try it on to see where the length is and if I'm happy with it then I will do the eight rolls of ribbing and then it will be good and then I can go to the the sleeves so but for right now I um, this afternoon I've been knitting on my January socks and um, I got one done, and I'm just starting the second one. My goal is to try to get this done this week, so it is off my needles. <laughs> um, I do like the DK weight of it, which is holding two strands together. Um, it is nice and thick. It does go faster. Um, and... Um, Mr. Jerry likes the feel of it also. Um, this yarn that I'm using just isn't soft. I think it's the Stellina in it. It's got the, the breeze. It's got the um, silver twinkle to it. And I think that makes it a little bit stiffer. And I'm used to 80-20. And I'm sure this is 75-25. Because it feels a little thinner too so but I've had this yarn probably a good five to eight years and the whole idea of doing all of this 
was I pulled 12 skeins of sock yarn out of my stash and um, I did this in last year December and they are all numbered they're in baggies and then the first of every month um, Mr. Jerry aka my hubby pulls a number out and then I pull out that and I see what it is and that's my monthly um, sock to knit. The whole idea was to knit more socks and to use my stash. And um, I know Miss Jenny is doing this with me and her hubby pulls the numbers also. I think she'll get her socks done way before me this month. <laughs> And Miss Jenny, I think you're right. I think knitting two at a time is the way to go because I don't know how you do yours two at a time, but I know when I do my two at a time, I will knit the cuff first on one and then knit the cuff on the next one and then the leg and the leg and on back and forth. But I'm also thinking that this summer, I do like shorty socks. I like socks that are just around my ankles just for the summer months. So um, I might do some of those. I It just depends on what the mood hits me. But right now, these I am trying in DK, and I will then um, see what I have um, that Mr. Jerry might like, because he'd like a pair of DKs, and um, go from there. Because I think in the winter months, they are thicker, Learn to keep the feet warmer. These definitely you would not wear um, in your shoes. You might be able to wear them in your boots. Um, but they are the double thickness of the regular socks. So. But anyways, thank you all again for your nice comments. I appreciate it. I appreciate each and every one of you. I just wanted to come on because there's not going to be much to this vlog on Sunday. So usually isn't. Um, on the weekends, I am not showing anything when I'm eating. I'll talk about it, but um, trying to give myself time off from posting Monday through Friday, three meals when I remember it, so, um, and my trackers. So anyways, oh, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to get back to knitting on my sock and listening to the birds and the sounds of spring right now so y'all have a great um day and have a very blessed and great week and an on track week and whatever you do i hope it is the best week for you yet so thanks again my friends and i will see you later